the woman girl club, 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 club. Okay, so today we have David Grant, an author who obtained an MA in Ancient History back in 2010. So firstly, what initially attracted you to study with Woomba? Um, well, at the time, I was actually studying through a, a university in America, Fairfax University, but they were not able to finish the program they had initially offered me. So my mentor from um, Leicester University in the UK recommended me to Woomba as, as one of the few places that would be open-minded and flexible enough to tailor a course for me so I could actually complete my program. Um, few distance learning institutions were able to offer courses in ancient history um, at the time, and that's how I fell into the, uh, you know, the hands of, of Warnbury University. I'm very glad I did. Amazing. Yeah, I'm glad you did as well. Um, so what were the highlights of your time at Warnbury? I think, I think really the quality of the mentoring. I mean, I was provided with really great communications at every stage. The professor was fabulous. He, he really knew his stuff. And the faculty were approachable and flexible. And I really needed that because I, I was, in fact, traveling for a lot of the time. I was in New Zealand. Um, when I was liaising with the UK-based professor, but location simply wasn't an issue. Uh, there was always a very positive air about every, you know, stage of the course I was in, and I was provided with a pretty tight um, schedule. So, you know, discipline was needed. I had my work cut out, but the whole thing felt really well put together. Well, that's really great to hear. And so how do you feel your success has helped you reach your career goals? Well, I mean, it wasn't just getting the masters, um, but I think it was the quality of the mentoring which stood me in good stead to become a, you know, a full time writer of ancient history. But the masters certainly gave me confidence. And of course, it underpins anyone's CV, because even though publishers base their decisions on written materials, they need to see that a writer's dedicated, um, he's disciplined and he's committed to getting work across the line. And obviously having a master's degree um, to some extent demonstrates that. Perfect. And as an author, what specific skills have you been able to utilise from your course and experience at Warmbra? Well, um, without doubt, my thesis on ancient sources and methodology, which were the subject immediately set for me by the Warmbra programme, and that gave me the building blocks for my writing style. Uh, the depth of research that I did for those theses has always held me in good stead in the academic community, and I've had a lot of academic endorsements. Um, it actually took me 18 months to write these theses for Warmborough, but it was totally worth it. And the insights I gained through that have really been the basis for all of the three books that I've published since. In fact, my latest book coming out in spring next year is dedicated to the sources and methodology. So it goes right back to that early Warmborough time um, when I was studying the, the sources and methodology for the life and times of Alexander the Great. Oh, amazing. So you've been able to carry it through your whole career and sort of bring it back now. And that's, yeah. yeah, really, because I was pushed so much by the professor to look more deeply at what I was studying. And it really gave me a bit of a head start, really, over a lot of other authors that write about the same subject that, you know, take the more uh, traditional route to sources and don't really understand the issue as deeply as um, I was able to through the Warmbra course. Yeah, I'd agree. I think definitely if you're challenged, it would give you a, a head start over quite a lot of other people. OK, so how would you describe the quality of teaching and support that you received? Oh, I was impressed. I mean, the, the, the professor who, you know, contracted to Leicester University as well as Warmbur and some other um, colleges um, was tough. And he inspired me to delve deep into the subject matter. And I think if I if it had been less demanding, I would have taken a less academic approach and maybe an easier path. Um, even when I needed a specialist advice on some ancient Greek dialects, Warmbra was able to refer me to an expert in the field. So I was I was pretty impressed with that. That's really great to hear as well. And lastly, what advice would you give to future students considering joining us to study? Well, I mean, firstly, take it seriously you know, and don't expect an easy ride because you will be set a demanding course. Mm -hmm. Then take full advantage of the knowledge of your course professors because they seem to relish imparting you know, a lot of wisdoms um, to you through the course and just make sure you fully exploit questions, ask the questions you need to. And um, don't be afraid to think outside the box because I think Warmbur encourages that. But, you know, above all, I would say have a clear plan as to what you are going to achieve and how you're going to do it and what you're going to do with the success from the course, because at the end of the day, that will keep you in focus and give you the goal to finish what you start. 
Yeah, I've heard that from quite a lot of people. That that's really good advice that you should utilise your mentor and all of the expertise while you have it. Because I think some people just don't. And once it's gone, it's gone. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and suck it all up and, and, and um, ask them a load of questions and, and, and take advantage of their knowledge. And, um, yeah. you know, that I did that. Absolutely. I, I was fascinated um, to do that. And I think that's um, I, I benefited more because of it, for sure. Lovely. Thank you very much. That was really helpful. The Warren Greco Club.